In Buckhead, as in many communities, there are a number of different organizations working together to ensure the continued prosperity and vitality of the community. The Buckhead Area Transportation Management Association, the Buckhead Community Improvement District, and the newest addition, Livable Buckhead, are three of those organizations in the Buckhead area. Through these three organizations working together, four main areas of programming are addressed. Transportation infrastructure improvements, alternative modes, sustainability initiatives, and efforts to create community. These elements work together to improve the quality of life in the community and result in economic development. Green space is one of the key topics mentioned when talking about sustainability and quality of life. However, it is not one of the strengths of the community. A few years back, the City of Atlanta undertook a parks planning project known as Project Green Space. This plan identified Atlanta City Council District 7, Howard Shooks District, which encompasses about half of Buckhead as having fewer parks per capita than every other district in the city. 2.14 acres per thousand residents is nowhere near acceptable standards, which typically range from 12 to 15 acres per thousand. Howard Shook decided that this was not acceptable for his district and challenged the Buckhead Area Transportation Management Association and Community Improvement District with solving the problem. Batma and the Buckhead CID stepped up to the challenge issued by Councilman Shook and over the course of 18 months worked with a comprehensive steering committee to develop a plan to fix the green space problem. This committee represented 24 different community perspectives, including commercial property owners, residents, hoteliers, private schools, and churches. This plan became known as the Buckhead Collection. Using a needs-based approach, the Buckhead Collection identified the type, amount, and area of green space needed. The total acreage of need identified in the plan is approximately 107 acres. No small task. The plan also identified the need for an implementing entity to take responsibility for making sure this plan resulted in tangible results. This need gave birth to Livable Buckhead Incorporated. The Buckhead Collection Plan identified multi-use trails as one of the top priorities for the community. Before the plan was even completed, the Georgia 400 Trail was identified as a potential trail opportunity. Its location along the spine of the district provided connections to many future parks and provided linkages that would also help create a coherent network of green space in the community. In addition, the majority of the land was already in public ownership, which made for a compelling cost-effectiveness case given the absorbent land prices in Buckhead. A feasibility study was conducted to make sure the trail was indeed doable, and once its viability was confirmed, it became not only a part of the Buckhead Collection plan, but the top priority for implementation as well. Some of the key features of the trail project are highlighted here. Yet another compelling feature of the Georgia 400 Trail is its proximity to the community and potential trail users. The pink areas represent residents within a five-minute walk of the trail. The green areas are a 10-minute walk. The gold areas are a 5-minute bike ride. And the purple areas are a 10-minute bike ride. Nearly 45,000 Buckhead residents will be able to walk or bike directly to the trail. The design for the Path 400 project began by listening to the community. In January of 2012, Livable Buckhead's design team shared a general concept for the project with the community through a host of communications channels. These included online dissemination, public presentations, one-on-one -on -one meetings, neighborhood meetings, and through traditional local media and community newsletters. Through these efforts, the team received many different perspectives, both positive and negative. In order to make sure the community's desires remain at the forefront of design, the input was divided into six main categories. Those categories were wrapped into the design principles that now guide the development of the project. Those design principles include safe and secure, environmentally responsive, economically beneficial, creating a sense of place and identity, fostering a sense of community, and providing tracked measurable results. The Path 400 Trail is very unique in that it provides four completely different experiences in one 5.2 mile trail. The different types of areas are highlighted on the map. 
The green portions of the map highlight those areas that have a typical trail experience, similar to the Silver Comet Trail. They are relatively natural and have a somewhat trail-in-the-woods kind of feel to them. The red portions on the map represent those areas that are more commercial and urban in nature, including the Buckhead Commercial Core, through Tower Place and the Sydney Marcus Lindbergh Commercial District. The gold portions of the route represent parts of the trail located in historic neighborhoods. The purple segments are what we are calling infrastructure experience due to their proximity to existing transportation systems, including MARTA, the Georgia 400 Highway, and the Norfolk Southern Rail Lines. This portion of the trail will appeal to transportation engineers and train lovers of all ages. In addition to the different character areas, there are opportunities for moments along the way, which basically means adjacent parks opportunities that broaden the experience and offer interest and respite along the way. The moments are represented with green circles on the map and include Lorden's Drive Cemetery, Mountain Way Park, Miami Circle Park, and more. The next series of images will take you on a tour of the corridor from the northern end just below the toll plaza on Georgia 400 all the way down to the southern connection to the Atlanta Beltline on Piedmont Road at Peachtree Creek. The red dot on the map to the left will show you where you are on the trail as we go along on our tour. You will also see the images are arranged to display a basic option and an enhanced option. The current project budget anticipates the basic option and the enhanced options represent additional areas of investment should funding become available to accommodate them. The trail experience begins on Lordens Drive, situated just below the toll plaza on the Georgia 400 roadway and adjacent to one of the oldest family cemeteries in the city of Atlanta. Several acres of green space are already in the public ownership in this area as highlighted in the graphic. The basic option in this area includes a simple multi-use trail immediately next to the existing sound wall as shown here. Enhanced options for this area include ideas that take a more active approach to the surrounding land and develop it in a way that provides some opportunity for activation of the space. Whether it's by providing informal green space or a more programmed active space for courts like shown here. This is a photograph taken in the area on the east side of the highway, looking to the south. The basic option includes those elements shown here, including the trail, modification to the sound wall, and vegetative screening. The panels proposed for use in the sound wall are an acrylic material that has better sound blocking characteristics than the existing metal panels. This will help dress up the sound wall, as well as open up the corridor by providing windows that allow light and color into the area. These panels will also be visible to motorists traveling on Georgia 400, which will be tied into a project currently under development by the Community Improvement District, which creates a gateway to the community at the exit ramps onto Lenox Road, better known as the Buckhead Loop. The enhanced option anticipates additional landscaping that adds color and variety and could be undertaken by local garden clubs. This section of the trail has a handful of homes with relatively small yards situated close to the public right of way. In these situations, we are working directly with each individual homeowner to develop solutions that work for them. In this case, the homeowner wanted to maintain privacy and prevent access to their yard from the trail. So we proposed a series of options to help achieve these goals. One of the key things to note in the image is the impacts to the trees have been taken into consideration and the proposed landscape buffer provides year-round screening as opposed to the seasonal vegetation currently in place. In this section of the trail, the Georgia 400 Highway is 80 to 100 feet off the ground. This provides a fantastic opportunity for a unique green space underneath adjacent to Little Nancy Creek, but also offers a design challenge as the trail must provide access to the ground level while continuing south up at the road elevation on the west side. To achieve this, an iconic bridge is anticipated. The specific design of the bridge has not been selected and will be coordinated with local efforts underway to develop this park space. However, this image gives you an idea of where the designers are headed. The trail will cross from the west side of Georgia 400 to the east side via the Wyuka Road Bridge. The bridge is already wide enough to accommodate bike lanes and sidewalks. Modifications will include raising the bike lane to create a one-way multi-use path on each side of the roadway. This will enhance safety for trail users while also encouraging automobile traffic to slow down due to the perceived narrower roadway. A pedestrian activated stop signal will be placed on the east side of Georgia 400 to facilitate trail users crossing the roadway. 
The enhanced option includes modifications to the existing fence. Options shown here incorporate similar types of elements to those used at the sound wall. This creates a unified aesthetic, not only creating the identity of the trail, but also for the gateway entrance to Lenox Road. This image shows the trail just below Wyuka Road, looking south toward the business district. The enhanced option incorporates a more diverse plant palette, incorporating some locally appropriate color. Old Ivy Road is currently a relatively hostile environment for pedestrians. It is dark, visibility is poor, and it feels unsafe. The basic option in this area includes simple definition of the trail and separation from the roadway, together with upgraded lighting. Enhanced options include landscaping the outer edges and doing some sort of artistic or recreational treatment to the sloped pavement under the bridge. Located just outside the old Ivy underpass to the south, this exciting drainage structure actually provides an interesting opportunity to activate the space like pictured here. Lennox Road, better known as the Buckhead Loop, is currently designed mainly for cars. By taking a foot out of each travel lane and modifying the existing median, we can assemble approximately 15 feet of space to create a pedestrian experience that not only serves the trail, but also helps reclaim this regional roadway as more of a local street with a more walkable scale. The trail turns off the Buckhead Loop and goes into Tower Place, using the existing sidewalk network. In this area, trail users will find a five-acre park and direct access to the new northern platform of the Buckhead Marta Station that is currently under construction. In Tower Place, only minor modifications will be made to facilitate movement and mark the trail as you see here. Once across Peachtree Road, the trail dives between the Intercontinental Hotel and the Embassy Suites Hotel to get into the historic Peachtree Park neighborhood. Bicycle traffic will be divided into two routes while pedestrian traffic all remains on North Highland Drive. Only minor, understated, street markings and entry monuments will be incorporated in this area. Below the Peachtree Park neighborhood, the trail comes into an area that has a very industrial or utilitarian feel. Bounded on one side by the highway, the other by freight and passenger rail, and with the MARTA directly overhead. The basic phase in this area includes bridging under the railroad line as you see here. Enhanced options dress up the adjacent wall with murals. One of the most surprising areas of the trail is a detention pond built to serve water running off from the highway, which is turned into what feels like a wetland or environmentally sensitive area. The basic phase in this area includes the trail itself hugging the top of the slope along the rail line as shown here. Enhanced options include providing outlooks and boardwalks in this area that allow trail users to venture into the natural space. Just after leaving the serene natural environment, you immediately re-enter the built world, right in the middle of significant transportation infrastructure. This includes MARTA's heavy rail and one of Norfolk Southern Railroad's busiest commercial freight and Amtrak's passenger lines. Here the trail snakes along parallel to both systems, providing a unique transportation experience for the cyclist and the pedestrian alike. This section of the trail promises to be a favorite for both young and young at heart train enthusiasts. Known as the Arts District of Buckhead, Miami Circle is located along the trail and provides a unique opportunity for a major trailhead, complete with a park, parking, and significant amounts of green space. The basic option includes the trail itself to the highway edge of the area. Enhanced options incorporate the trailhead and park. Imagine being a guest at the Intercontinental Hotel, being able to take a stroll through the historic neighborhood to enjoy the galleries along Miami Circle then some fantastic tapas and salsa dancing, all without having to worry about driving. When driving around Buckhead, you may not realize the connections that are really there. This is one of the great features of this trail. It makes connections as the crow flies, or better yet, as the pedals turn. Beginning at the top of Miami Circle, there's an abandoned roadway that provides a fantastic connection, right down to Sydney Marcus Boulevard, right across from the QT filling station. This roadway runs right between an upscale apartment complex, a condominium complex, and a senior high-rise development. All folks who would benefit greatly from a trail in this area that is currently somewhat unsightly and blighted. With the addition of community gardens, exercise equipment, and the trail, 
This area, once an eyesore, becomes a haven for activity. Running between the senior living high-rise and condominium access, the trail will activate the space while having minimal impact to the natural feel and existing amenities already on site. The trail will enter a more commercialized segment of the community along Sydney Marcus Boulevard. Located on the north side of the roadway, the trail will enhance the existing pedestrian facilities by adding a landscaped buffer area between trail users and automobiles, widening the sidewalk to a full 12-foot trail section and also incorporating bioswales and natural landscaping. You probably have seen the construction for the new highway ramps that will make the connection between Georgia 400 southbound and Interstate 85 northbound. This new connection is expected to significantly relieve the automobile traffic pressure on Sydney Marcus and will result in a more pedestrian-friendly area. The trail project will take that one step further by redesigning the intersection to make it safer for pedestrians. Enhancements will include tightening up the crossing distances, creating pedestrian refuge islands, and enhancing signage to facilitate crossings. From Sydney Marcus, the trail runs behind the dump furniture store and the post office. Just south of these two locations, Morosco Drive dead ends into Georgia 400. This area will be turned into a significant point of access to the trail. This area of Buckhead is zoned for residential development and will be a future base of many trail users, so a connection here is critical. The proposed access point will include connections to the local sidewalk network, parking, signage, and landscape trail access. The southern end of the trail is located in a highly developed, heavily residential area of the community. The trail will expand the width of the existing pedestrian network and provide connections directly to the landscape buffer area along the north side of Peachtree Creek. Trail users will be able to connect directly to the Atlanta Beltline and to the series of nature trails that have been developed by South Fork Conservancy. These connections are critical in that they make the Georgia 400 Trail part of the regional network of trails that serve the city of Atlanta and metro area. Design for the 5.2 mile trail is well underway and has been done so working very closely with the local community. Through a comprehensive outreach strategy, area residents, workers and commercial property owners have had the opportunity to view trail plans, provide their thoughts and have seen their ideas incorporated into the design. Design is expected to be completed in May of 2013 and the acquisition of any necessary easements will begin during the same time period. The general thinking is the project will be built in as many as five to seven separate segments, with the first going to construction in 2014. While it is difficult to project the final completion of construction activities, the general goal is to have the project completed within three to five years. Thank you for taking this tour with us. We hope you're as excited about the transformation as we are. If you would like to receive regular updates on this project and more activities underway through Livable Buckhead, please register to receive our monthly newsletter. If you would like to support the project, your donations are tax deductible and certainly welcome.